hi welcome to today's video my name is Judith Adams and on today's video we are going to be talking about the act of saying no no is just a two-letter word and yet saying it can be very difficult it is never easy and sometimes even complicated for many of us saying no doesn't just feel awkward it feels wrong you know it's a skill that I think everyone should master and work on day in day out to be able to bring to bring out the best in them and then to build strong connections and relationship in our everyday lives everywhere we go there are so many reasons why we turn to say yes instead of no because most of these cases we want to be seen as generous we don't want to miss out and sometimes we just don't want to feel the guilt of having to say no to someone and in most cases you don't really have to be hard on yourselves some of us are just so empathetic most of us are just extremely kind and sometimes the way we were brought up we're brought up to say yes we we're brought up not to make people feel bad and sometimes we're told that hey you have to look out to some for somebody before you even look out for yourself most people too are just so sensitive and very empathetic like I mentioned earlier so saying the word no is not just in their dictionary and I would want you to cut yourself some slack for that the first reason why we tend to say yes to the things we should be saying no to is the act of being generous we want to be seen as generous and extremely kind so we want to give all we have we want to be there for someone we look out for people then we look out for ourselves we would rather receive that compliment of our generosity than to actually have that or feel great ourselves doing something that we are really authentic about we also do not want to come around people as very rude very unkind and very uncaring these are some, some unhuman description we do not want to pull down to ourselves so we do all we can to avoid them by just saying yes can you do this yes can you do that yes and then we know that we're dying really deep inside us but we just have to say yes for the reward of it all another reason is we do not want people to dislike us. We do not want people to see us as selfish. We do not want people to see us as unhelpful. So we hate the sayings that people might say to us, like criticize us or judge us in a way. Judith is selfish. Judith doesn't care. Judith only care about herself. Judith with her boundaries and so on and so forth. But then these are the things we do not want for ourselves. We do not want to be rejected we want to be part of the crew we do not want to be seen as a difficult ones we want to be seen as pleasant we want to be seen as easygoing generosity is not generosity without boundaries being generous comes with boundaries when you know that you are running out and grabbing something to fill it out or stop pouring out if you're really running out because this hub will definitely take a toll on you and you do not want that. Another reason we tend to say yes instead of no is feeling left out. So yes, I think we all apply to this when it comes to feeling left out, where we do not want to feel left out, being it friendship, especially at work, where you feel like you have to take the next chapter to get to where you 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 want to get to to get that promotion to to feel accomplished. Um, sometimes it could even be that overachieving mindset of being able to earn a praise of yourself just to be accepted and not be left out and oh in this case how do you say no without all the garbage that comes with it without all the negatives that comes with you saying no three things i usually do um is to be clear you really have to be clear as to what is stopping you from saying yes you really have to tell it to them the other thing is be concise and the last thing is be nice about it being clear I know we've all done this as 
a point in our life where we give people the hopes up of being there or coming true and saying yes to them and later on we just come up with excuses um oh this is the reason why i couldn't do it or then we are like wishy-washy oh i think this 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 no be clear about it this is the reason why i can't i have so much on my plate i have other plans i wouldn't be able able to come true with my promise as to saying yes to you so this is why i'm saying no i have other plans that's just being clear be clear about your reason your excuse for not taking part, for saying no. I'm not saying give them that long explanations of the reasons why you can do this. No, be just clear about it. This is my reason and I can't do it. And that is just it. Being concise, oh wow. <laughs> In this case, we've all, uh, we I think we all know how to do it better. Do not pat people's feelings. Do not try to make people feel great or lie to them let me just put it that way as to oh i would come later this is my reason and that 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 da, 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 da. no be clear about it this is my reason and i can't make it in this case it is very good for your integrity that you are clear you owe people that amount of respect and that respect to be given unto you by just day understanding that you have a greater reason and a very tangible one for that matter for not coming true for them the other thing i would mention is being concise be clear with your excuse make it short and understandable for the person you are counseling on or having the excuse for you do not need the whole long story about your partner your child your dog whatever happened who fell sick who died on the road when you were coming all those are not necessary you do not have to over justify you do not have to over explain yourself over explanatory sometimes even seems false you know just be clear this is the reason why I can't do it. I have another commitment I have to do. I have this and have this. And even if it's just you giving that excuse and sitting in your house and just spending time with yourself, it is worth it. But you didn't lie about it. Hey, I have other plans that I have to commit to. They have nothing to do but to accept it and, and try to be understanding, right? You do not have to come up with all the beautiful things and all the fabrications trying to explain in 10 minutes talk as to why you couldn't come true with it. No, sometimes you have to be as short as, oh, hey, I have another commitment on my plate that I have to take on. You don't have to tell them what you have on your plate. Of course, it's your time. It is you and you can do as you please with it. Just tell them about about your commitment and your plans and that you're not willing to cancel them and they are important to you and this is when you prioritize and you have priorities I just want to spend time with myself so I can be able to make it out or this is the reason I am not willing to travel out at this time of the year so would you mind cancel now don't get me wrong if I said you should be short and quick about it earlier there are times you need to have a whole broad explanation you really need to let someone get to know what commitment you really have and sometimes this has to do with work most often where you don't have to list the things personally that you're doing but you give them excuse as to your engagement or your schedule as to whatever you have commitment on and the reasons why you can't take part in it sometimes it's just so that uh, you do not break boundaries or uh, ruin I mean partnerships with people so in this case it is fine to be broad about this whole issues ask me you don't have to mention all these things about your personal life just be broad about it be be kind about it and in in general terms people are very understanding when you are saying no these days it doesn't feel although like you are disrespecting people are so understanding when you are nice about it when you have a way you word your no to them so be nice uh whether the beginning of it or the latter part of it when you're ending it make sure you say thank you for that opportunity or for they just asking you for that like thank you for asking this but this is the reason why i can do it or after you've given them your explanation you could just say thank you for this to be frank with you everything seems to take a huge part in this just so people would understand you it could just be as simple as oh hey 
thank you for thinking of me oh thank you for counting me as part of the thank you for considering me but unfortunately i wouldn't be able to da 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 da, da. but thank you you're just being appreciative uh, in this sense or in this case but also standing up to your no as to no i cannot do it being nice about these things People seem to be very, very understanding, close relationships. Let me just put it as that. You, in this case, it is okay to open up about all you've been through and all your burnouts and all the stress you're going through. And then they are willing to understand because they love us, you know. We, we This is personal. So they love us. They are willing to accept us no matter how it is with us. So be clear about this. I can remember a few months ago, I had traveled to Ghana. And um, when I got back here, I had to explain to a lot of people the reason why I couldn't make it to see most of them. And I almost felt like, Oh, come on, I shouldn't be doing this. It's none of anyone's business where I choose to go and whether I choose to see them or not. But at a point in time, I said, no, somebody needs to hear this. And those were close relationships. So I tend out to send a lot of texts and calling people. Oh, hey, I was in Ghana, but this was the reason why I couldn't see you. And I had these explanations lined up to, hey, my child was really sick and he was really sick. My child was really sick, so we couldn't make it to anywhere. We were at the hospital 24-7. I had to give him all uh, this care. We had to, we couldn't go to anywhere because I explained to these people as to reasons why I couldn't make it to see them. This is different when it comes to a stranger, someone I'm not really close to that said, Oh, hey, you were in Ghana, you couldn't even make up time to see me. I am like, Oh, you know, I was just busy, things happen, but hey, I'm sorry about it. And, and it's as easy as that. I don't need to go or give them all these personal details about what I've been through or what I was going through whilst I was there and the reasons why as to why I couldn't see them. It wasn't necessary. So I was shot, but I made sure at the end of the day, I apologized. Knowing when to do this thing, taking these three things, which is being clear, being concise and being nice, people tend to be so understanding. Of course, when you're when you're rude with your no, it hurts people and it hurts us too when people are rude with their nose. So we really have to be extremely careful about it. But also, we have to be our authentic self when we are saying no to people. Do not say something you don't mean. As social creatures we sometimes feel like we have to be part of the society and that saying no can really have a great impact on the relationships in our everyday lives but i am here to tell you that it is not as it, it, it seems saying no prevents stress saying no actually prevent exhaustion that you could have your life together and you take some rest and know when to take some rest saying no simply doesn't mean that you are wicked it just means that you're aware of yourself and you're aware of what you can do and what you cannot do i know there are a lot of sayings there that might push you to do more than you expected but do not forget this those have greater impacts on your mental health and that can be very very damaging to you so saying no doesn't necessarily mean that you do not like something it just means that you're prioritizing and when you're good with how you prioritize stuff it helps a lot so today say no to something you're not willing to say what you mean and mean what you say thank you for tuning in ramadan mubarak and may allah forgive us and accept our prayers see you same time next week thank you for tuning in